Hello. As some of you know, I, um, who know me, and for the ones, of course, that personally know me, know I've been having issues with, uh, my kids not being able to get to see them very often, and having things said about me that aren't true, and different stuff, and things, and today, I, um, get a phone call and it's from the Department of Children and Family Services and it's in Indiana. They don't tell me why they're calling. They don't leave a message. I just recognize, hey, it's a 574 area code. I know that area code. So I immediately call it while I'm at work. And... Hopefully they'll just call you back and leave a name or a message. So then I kind of wonder and worry because my son put up a YouTube video stating I could no more. It would be his last one. He was afraid that somebody was finding his YouTube profile again and they're not supposed to. And he's supposed to be making another video stating as to why he's afraid of this person. And I don't understand who this person could be unless it's me. Because there was um, an issue with one of his YouTube videos he had before with a previous channel. And I had to um, call the police on him because I couldn't get through on his father's phone because they had my number blocked. And my number's been blocked for many years a long time the number used to belong to his ex-girlfriend and I used to have the number stored under her name Jax no I'm sorry that's my dog there stay in your seat Jaxamillion and stop my number you know finally got unblocked in court and I did a you know a live Facebook video on that um, the bailiff actually had to get my number unblocked and now I know for a fact they can receive my text messages and stuff I know they can receive phone calls and things and so I sent them a text message you know stating I know you don't want to talk to me but there's nothing I can do but I would really like to know if you guys know why the Department of Children and Family Services called me and I wish you know that they had a good day and all of that and I still haven't received anything back I don't know if I will it's been um, since the 15th of last month since I got to talk to my son Logan didn't get to talk to Austin and uh, talk to the kids dad for uh, an hour the longest conversation I've had with him in forever is something I've always been wanting is communication with him. And well now here we're going to be at the 4th tomorrow and I have no idea what uh, I'm going to hear from them or not. And it's just very frustrating in all of this because I just don't understand why life has to be this way and things have to keep going on this way and I just keep holding on to prayer. But with everything else going on, I mean, there's so much sadness in this world. We could be gone tomorrow and none of us know. Some shooter could say, okay, I'm going to mock this guy and, oh, here we have a copycat. Or 
some shit like that because you just never know. Life's ever changing and another hurricane heading towards destructive places that have already been. Yeah, this has been one wild crazy year and every year, yeah, there's always crazy shit that happens. And, well, hey, this is the biggest mass shooting we've ever had because every year things just escalate and they just get worse. And it is true, you know, I believe as the Bible says, pains upon the pregnant woman, yeah. They, they go and attractions can last for hours, for like a really long time. They can even last for days, but, you know, you could be going on for weeks. I've been feeling these slight little contractions, and they have a name for them. But they don't take those into consideration because they want the ones that are going to be closer together. Well, those ones are going to be the real strong ones that are a lot stronger. And, uh, well, the earth, do we keep digging into it? We need oil, we need diesel, we need this, we need that, we need coal, and all these different fuel, and all these elements that help protect the outer crust, and different things, and we know that it's hotter in the center of the years, so, of course, but global warming is no issue, and, you know, and we, people say, it's no big deal, but I say, wake up, people, and realize, no, it is, and, just look at everything around us, everything that's happening, everything that's going. How um, I know where I live in Southern Illinois, there was one year we didn't even have a winter. It went straight from spring to summer to just a teeny, itty bitty fall. Very little bit of a fall to boom, we're right back into spring and summer. I had daisies and dandelions growing in the front yard in the winter when these things shouldn't exist the grass shouldn't be green the people were cutting their grass earlier than ever before but none of these things are issues, right? but in my opinion they are and a lot of things matter to me and um, I'm heading out to drop off some DQ goodies over to my aunt and uncles and Jax will get out in a minute and you get to have your doggy playtime. And I just wanted to get a few of those things off of my chest because yeah, and my heart goes out to all those people and everyone who's suffering these disasters. And just like in Puerto Rico, it makes me mad. You get an airline that charges a thousand dollars to fly out of Puerto Rico when no one has access to a bank to get that money. And I look at a thousand dollars, how many people can I close and pay? So, or even give shelter to. So, big corporations not even stepping up and there's an issue. Look at how many billionaires and millionaires there are in this world. And everyone's panicking, how are we going to come up with this? If everyone just gave even a dollar, how much would that make to solve issues and problems? But we always have issues and problems when people want to say they want to measure their height in society by the wealth of their wallet. That is very true to a lot of people. We'll try to say that they don't feel that way or that they're not that way, but really it is. And greed comes in many different forms. It's not just your average Scrooge looking person, but it's other different ways too that people don't realize. And life shouldn't be about all these things and these objects. Yes, enjoy your life. It's short and you need to, to have fun and even for the ones that, you know, show that they really don't care or they don't want nothing to do with you and things like that, you still got to be the better person. That's how I look at it. And no matter what anyone thinks, no matter what anyone says, I'm always going to be there. I'm always going to show love. I'm always going to show support, you know, and wish everybody the best. That's just me and that's how I am and I just think that it's awesome, you know, for people to be that way, but not everybody
he can be that way. He can, um, I know it's hard for a lot of people because of the things they feel, the things they're taught, and not learning just to let things go and stuff. But not everybody's perfect. I make mistakes all the time. I admit it. Um, I do something wrong. I admit it because I don't like to be a liar. And so some people will try to tell me or would say, oh, you always have to be right. Maybe your mom would say, I would argue with her sometimes, oh, you should be a lawyer. You always want to argue because you always have to be right. Well, it's not that I always have to be right, but at certain points where I knew I was, and I could just prove her wrong and was able to, and there was a few occasions. Um, it wasn't the fact of that I wanted to be right. It's, I don't like lying. I don't like to be a liar, so if I'm being called a liar, it, you know, when I'm speaking the truth, it upsets me, and for many years, I've been called a liar, and have, you know, people, certain ones that don't believe me, but then I got others that say, I know you wouldn't do that, I got you back, you know, and so, yeah. I just hope and pray that all these lies stop and this world comes to better peace and everything and more people get along and death stops toiling because, yeah, we're killing our own and it's not cool. And I watch a rap video and I see this guy who's a rapper and he holds up this noose and he takes this white little boy, little, little boy with these black boys around him and he ties this noose around the white boy's neck and he's rapping about killing and noosing and hanging this little white boy as these other black little boys are looking on at this white boy hanging from a tree. I would like to know who the white boy's parents are and what the heck is wrong with his mother if she's especially still in the picture. And what the heck is wrong with YouTube for allowing this video to circulate and not even bringing it down and it's able to go all over the place and people find stuff like this acceptable. I know it's crazy, yeah, because we have a white guy who does this mass shooting and then we have the other white guy who did a mass shooting inside um, a church and then we got the Columbine shooting from like years ago and those were white guys again, yeah, so we've got enough white crazy people in this world killing their own, but really, do we need to see another race showing some more hatred? Because two wrongs don't make a right. Yes, white people did that to blacks. It's not cool. It's not right. But do we need to be teaching it to another generation? Let's do it in reverse. Now let's kill the whites. Come on. So there's things in society that I feel and I wish would change and just if people would just rely on love, the world would be a better place, but not everybody can do that. All right, I'm out, guys.